Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight. Welcome back to another episode of Europa Universalis 4 as Russia. When we last left off, let's save that. When we last left off, we were doing various things. We're probably going to attack Kazan in the not too distant future. As we do have uh, reasons to expand over here. I mean, 27 months and it's going to take a really long time for that to happen. I mean, even a state and everything. Where, where is this province that I'm... There it is, Vilno. Yeah. Why is it so expensive? Oh, it's actually not a state. That's probably why it's so expensive. Though it could be a state. So, you know what? Let's do it. There we go. State that up. That immediately dropped the cost by, like, an entire order of magnitude. That is crazy. Crazy awesome. Alright, you can come back home now. Austria embraced global trade. Good for them. Truce of the Ottomans is over. So we could go to war without facing additional penalties. Oh. We're gonna lose 25 ducats in a second here. Ooh. Maybe I shouldn't have done that, because we do are, we are still trying to build up to our cap, aren't we? Yeah. Alright, let's let's build them anyway. And I am still thinking to myself that we do want to go to war with the Ottomans again. Because we want to take their money. And, honestly, we might even want to take their land, as we've established before. That would be good. Hmm. Tempting stuff. And we also want to go to war... Oh, good. That worked out nicely. We want to go to war with... Uh, Venice at some point, just for their money, because they apparently have like 10 bajillion dollars. And that's crazy. Also, I've been sitting here with a, a nice hot beverage and I haven't been drinking it. How terrible. Ah, that's better. Okay. I mean, I don't know if why I would enforce peace on them. Uh, let's see, 1617. So we want to probably hold up on that. Actually, no, we'll slander their merchants, weaken their trade. And then when we get back up, we'll go ahead and do that. Alright, so if we were to say, hey, let's go to war now. Austria would do it if I promised them land. Great Britain wouldn't because they are in debt and it's also a distant war. But they didn't really do anything to help last time. Circassia or Aragon wouldn't come in at this point. I think I might ally... Well, no. I shouldn't ally them yet. When is this going to be finished? In another couple of years. Alright. And we are still waiting on these blasted rebels who are taking a hundred million years to rebel. Oh, they're just never going to happen now. Okay, that's good enough. You guys might happen in a million years. All right. Okay, so yeah, the, the key here is to make sure that the entirety of our army is gathered and ready to march. We'll have to come in from the north and then... Actually, no. We've got like... A, we've got enough stacks of units here that I figure the smart play is probably they're gonna have troops over here so we gotta be ready for that and if we look at our rivals military power yeah they've burned some of their manpower already they've got a pretty terrifying force limit 
And you know what? I'll just do that. I'll take some of their land. Why not? I doubt we'll, uh, I doubt we'll be able to get involved with, uh, what's his face? We won't be able to get Aragon in on this. But that's perfectly fine. Just have everyone in position. Oh, did you peace out and I missed it? Nope, you're still going. Yeah, you're gonna go over there. We'll keep these guys drilling, because again, remember, if you're drilling, you're faster. You can't drill because you're technically not in homeland. That's fine. And let's actually take a second here. Hmm. I mean, the extra land maintenance modifier for faster drill gain, it is tempting. Huh. We're actually still making a nice amount of money. Get some more churches in here. Some more of those. I should save... Alright, let, let's not get too crazy here. And again with the missions, yeah. 100% force limit. Pretty sure we've just about completed that. Just about completed... Just, I've just about completed a lot of things. Alright. Yeah. Oh, how is Austria doing anyway? That's probably an important thing to check out. Yeah. And they do have Bohemia. That's another important thing to remember. Don't rival Austria. They're just sitting there menacingly. They know what I'm up to. Oh, they wandered off. And they still don't have forts. I bet we could take a lot of land off of them. I'll lose the prestige. I mean, it, like... This doesn't feel like it's going to really get us anywhere. Like, we probably should just sit back and, like, go to War of Kazan and all that good stuff. But... Yeah. Well, actually, you know what? I bet I could... Finish a quick war against these guys. Ah, but you know what? We're, we're getting close on teching up, so I don't even really want to take too much land anyway right now. We'll just sit back. We'll hold this up. Oh dear. Oh wow, the Mamluks have actually expanded down here. So they're not doing bad for themselves, in spite of everything. General has died. That's unfortunate. I mean, I suppose it also occurs to me, maybe there'd be some kind of, like, super strategy involved with maybe, like, uh, moving the generals around. So we have as many people... Oh, nice. But yeah, so we have as many people with uh, a super high drill as possible. But it's just not that easy. What's going on over here? The League War didn't fire, did it? No, no, that can't be right. The League War is probably never going to fire because we're too... We're all too evenly matched. Though on the other hand, I'm pretty sure, unless I'm mistaken, that if we fight the Ottomans now and then we end up with a truce, because Austria is the Emperor, that should result, I think, in some kind of... Like, they won't be able to rejoin the League until... Uh, the peace wears out. I think. I think that's how that works. You know what, I'm gonna build a few more churches just because. And one more of those. Really, really get our... our stuff working here. Alright.
Excuse me. Yeah. Oh, it's so close. Next month or the month after that, we'll be able to sabotage their recruitment, which will be really big. Let's uh, do that now, shall we? Port Rebels would be pretty cool, but sabotage recruitment. There we are. And how close? This is November. All right. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and ally you now. Because that'll all, it'll all balance out soon enough. I will marry you, Aragon. And if we were to go to war again, okay, Saxony won't join because they're massively in debt. Aragon won't join because they are massively in debt and doesn't have enough favors or trust. Oh yeah, we were rivals for a while. So, wow, that's... Actually really hurt the old trust game there, didn't it? You know, I've got the money, and I would like a couple of extra troops on my side, so... Excuse me. I'll just pay off your debt. Don't say I never did anything for you. I mean, maybe I shouldn't have done that, but it felt right at the time. Fighting in it. Gosh darn it. <laughs> I mean, how long could that war last, right? Yeah, you're literally fighting a couple of small-time guys. I could probably rent you some Kodotieri, and that would finish things. Yeah. And there we go. And that loss of Diplo rep is going to kill us a little bit. We also have some ships now. Which I am going to promptly get rid of. Yeah, I mean, what am I doing with ships anyway? Like, they're not... I'm never going to be a naval power. At least that's the way I see it. So I'm not even going to try. Which, if I recall correctly, has been the bane of empires in real life. Oh yeah, and if we actually did have a fleet, that would help with all these uh, Fort Mountain things. Oh yeah, you never converted any of your land here. Guys, you suck. Well, I suppose that's a bit cruel, isn't it? It's a bit cruel to say, but it's not inaccurate. There we go. Do I want to accept any more cultures into our... I mean, I guess I might as well. I'll take Georgian as well. Why not? We're good people. Ooh, boy. Alright. We are good people, though. Alright. What missions have I fulfilled? Okay, we do have that. Oh yeah, the absolutism. That's something we got to work on as well, isn't it? Oh, right! I've been... I forgot about that. We need our different... Uh... Oh yeah. We kind of need more... more promoted cultures. Well, we might be able to get this eventually. Uh, the university's part, that'll be relatively straightforward after our war with, uh, with the guys. Okay, Austria will still come in. These guys will come in later, probably. Or maybe not. Hmm. Am I ever going to finally fill out my my army and finish that one mission? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know yet. 
All right, let's uh, make our allies like us more. Saxony, I probably shouldn't count on that, should I? I mean, how, how many men does Bohemia actually have? Do, do, do. Bohemia. They've got 30,000 out of 50,000. Okay, so... 30,000, 42,000. I've got my 168. Uh, the Ottomans have their 200 and some. I mean, if I could bring Aragon in, it would be pretty much in the bag. But then again, I was winning against the Ottomans before. Uh, I don't know. Oh, and a general died again. Well, I guess I could get you to start drilling. Ah, tough choices, really. All right, so their war is over. I don't think I saw what the peace deal was. Let's uh, best guess this. Oh, there it is. Accepted peace. Okay, a whole bunch of land. A little bit of that. Okay, they just embraced global... What mission is it that I can finish here? Oh, it's this one. Land of Churches. Alright. Seems worth it. And this... Cost of reducing war exhaustion. I mean, I'm not worried about that. I, I've never needed to do that this game, so... I'm just kind of interested in the event. Let's see. Uh, gain some more stability and patriarchal authority. So if we're gonna do that... Um, let's go with manpower, recovery, spe uh, speed, and discipline. Uh, okay, I could actually try to claim Constantinople. Gain a permanent claim, but I lose a whole bunch of patriarchal authority. Hmm. I mean, that's kind of interesting. But there are no missions to my knowledge, that really require us to do that. Hmm. Let's, let's stay historical. I don't know, actually. So maybe I, I shouldn't speak too soon. Maybe... Maybe in real life. I don't know if Russia or any other power ever actually tried to retake Constantinople for the Orthodox faith. I have to assume there must have been some effort somewhere at some point, but... I don't know. It's an interesting thought. Uh, let's see. The Saints. Gain some of this. Culture conversion. I'll just go with that. And we are, again, still making, like, handfuls and handfuls of money. Hmm. Okay, Saxony is definitely not coming into this anytime soon. What is going on over here? Oh, you're involved. Alright, that does change things a little. I guess we're just gonna sit here. I don't want to, but that kind of feels like the smart play. I mean, maybe I won't even go after the Ottomans, but I would like their money. We're, we're 30 years out from the next... Uh, next thing, but... And with the money, we could buy a bunch of universities so that we could work towards getting our absolutism up faster. Which is really useful, especially for world conquesty type purposes. Not that we're doing world conquesty type things, of course, but we could. I guess is the the takeaway here. One, two, three, f only three. All right. And we will sabotage your recruitment and then slander your merchants by the by. Alright. I mean, we've got the money to do this, so we're gonna do it. Uh, 
Okay. Harold from Muscovy. When can I sabotage your recruitment again, by the way? 24. All right, so it's still there. If I were to move you over here, or here, yeah, it'd be too much. All right. Ah, you know, it, it probably is a waste going after the Ottomans. I mean, at least when I could be going after other people to finish the main purpose of this campaign. Okay, this time Muscovy would join in. I do have to admit, it feels like a missed opportunity to not go after Russia. Or, not Russia. Um, what's his face? Muscovy. You know what, I think... Let's just make our stacks even bigger. There we go. Because I do want to finish our missions, because I do like finishing missions and stuff. Oh, too many cannons. Yeah, that's good. That's good. More cannons. Uh, one more month. Christian converts. Okay. Oh, I should have read that mission. Gaslight, you idiot. Also, oh. And there we go. That is that. And a new idea slot. What do we want to take? Probably... Well, humanist ideas wouldn't be terrible, actually. I don't feel we need administrative ideas. I mean, core creation, that's good. But it's mostly mercenaries. Well, the number of states is also good. Hmm. I wouldn't mind taking exploration so we could colonize even more. Not that I feel that's necessarily necessary. But it wouldn't be... Excuse me, it wouldn't be bad. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, let's take exploration. Like, just to have it. Alright, that takes care of that. And last up. Yeah, and we're still making a lot of money here. Okay. Ah, it is a wasted opportunity not going after the Ottomans, isn't it? I know, I know. I should. But I want to stick to the plan. The plan in this case being that we do want to topple Muscovy. So yeah, you know what? We'll save our points. And when we go to war with the Ottomans, we'll do it at a time when we can actually take, like, all of the Ottomans. But then again, then again, if we fight the Ottomans now, now, you know what, I don't want to get dragged down in like a, a forever war with the Ottomans. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to do that. I want to, I like fighting the Ottomans, but like odds are, I'm, I'm thinking our next campaign we might like, okay, we might like, I don't know, do it in. Korea or something, because by the time our next campaign comes out, the, uh, the king, or Ching? King? However you, you properly pronounce their name. That update, 1.23 or, no, 1.3, 1.9, whatever that update is. Because it'll be interesting to play with some updated and changed Mandate of Heaven stuff. Especially if an actual, uh, Manchuria, or no, it's called the Manchuria update. That's what it was called. Yeah. Though I guess with us playing as a non-Manchuria, 
that could lead to some to some funny business. Anyway, anyway, yeah. So, in the meanwhile, it is time to say goodbye again. So until the next time, as always, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button or maybe leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking. And I will see all you in the next video.